Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. We're gonna go over a cool rehearsal or a movement drill that you can do without hitting golf balls to help you reduce the likelihood of you pulling your hands down in the downswing when you do start hitting golf balls again. So for those who can still hit golf balls in your backyard, you can do this as a rehearsal. If you're someone who can't hit golf balls at all right now, you can, you can do this as a feel to help you slow down when your hands come down. So generally, um, most amateur players, when they struggle with using the arms first in the downswing, the sequence is very off. We know we want to start ground up to propel the arms and the hands and the club to come in through the ball. When you start pulling your hands down to create speed, you can see the arms leave my chest. I lose that connection, okay? So as a, as a feel, what I like seeing people do is when they get to the top of the back, so when they do the rehearsal, instead of doing that, you can see when I do that, I got to the top, my arms and hands came down, and that's what pulled my body through the shot. Fake rotation. What we want to do instead is when you get to the top, you're going to leave your arms there. Your arm, hands, and club is, is locked now. This can't move. This can't change. From here, I change direction, and you can see my arms are still pinned against my chest. Whatever structure or look I have here with the arms, hands, and club, I'm going to keep now. I'm not going to let this swing down. I'm going to keep it back here and let the rotation of the body be what brings it into the finish. And as you can see in the finish, I'm not letting my arms go at all. All I'm gonna do in this rehearsal or in this feel is really focus on how my legs are moving. I feel like my legs are really pushing into the ground, torquing and propelling me back up. I really feel like as I do that, my torso follows because we can't have the hips and pelvis and, and chest face totally different ways of breaks of axle and the break. So we know the chest, the rotation of the upper body will follow the lower body eventually. And by doing this, by making sure, by feeling the arms back at all times, that will put a bigger emphasis on you pushing harder to create speed. I see a lot of people, they try to swing it fast, they just start whipping their, their arms through, right? What we want to do instead uh, for those players who struggle with using the hands first is to help the legs and the body propel the arms to even greater to a greater extent. So by doing this drill, by cutting the arms out for now, you're going to really feel the need to push harder. By doing this drill, you can see I changed the direction with my feet. By doing this drill and pushing and rotating hard, you should feel more squeeze of the glutes, a firmer squeeze, a firmer engagement. As you finish, not only that, you're gonna feel that squeeze at the top, the torso, the torso, the core starts squeezing, and you can feel you pushing harder and harder with this section here. Like your hip extending, let's say at the end of a movement where you're doing squats or deadlifts, you have to pull up and you squeeze your glutes and core. You're using the legs to push upwards and at the end, the hips extend and the glutes squeeze, okay? That's the same feel. I want that same feel of the glutes squeezing at the very end by not letting the arms overtake and then dragging my rest of the body for the ride. So hope that makes sense. If you're someone who struggles with pulling the hands down first to start the transition, this is a great feel for you guys. Um, rehearsal or just as a practice for now if you can't hit balls would be a good way to go about this so hope that helps any questions leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching everybody